South Korean opposition leader recovering from surgery after being stabbed in the neck. Seoul, South Korea, CNN. South Korea's main opposition party leader Lee Jae-myung is recovering from surgery after being stabbed in the neck during a visit to the southern city of Busan in, on Tuesday. Lee underwent a vein reconstruction surgery and is recovering in the intensive care unit, Democratic Party spokesperson Kwon Ji Sung Song said. Lee was touring the construction site of the Gadokdo new airport and talking to reporters when he was attacked, leaving the politician with a one centimeter laceration on the left side of his neck, Kwon said in an earlier statement. Lee suffered suspected damage to his jugular vein, and the doctors were concerned he may have additional bleeding, Kwon said, citing doctors. Kwon described the attempt on Lee's life an act of terrorism and a serious threat to democracy. Earlier in the day, Democratic Party's fellow leader Hong Ik Pyo said Lee was in a conscious state in hospital. The assa assailant who was arrested in the, at the scene is a man in his 60s, according to Busan police. He approached Lee for the autography before carrying out the attack with the 18 cm 7 inches long knife purchased online, the police said in the briefing. South Korea's opposition party leader Lee Jae-myung speaks during his visit to Busan, South Korea, January 2nd, 2024. Footage of the brazen attack captured on live television at the press conference shows the unidentified man at the front of the crowd suddenly longing at Lee and striking him in the neck, sending Lee collapsing backward. The attacker was then wrestled to the ground and strained by the several people. Photos showed Lee lying on the floor with his eyes shut and hand hand handkerchief pressed against his neck. Small amounts of the blood were visible in some of the photos. South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol expressed deep concern for Lee's safety after the attack, according to the presidential office. Yoon emphasized that such violence should not be tolerated under any circumstances and ordered the police to swiftly investigate. The Office said, Democratic Party fellow leader Hong Ik Hong Hong Ik Pyo called it for party members to remain calm and refrain from making political interpretations of the of the incident. Be strong. Outside the Seoul National University Hospital, the small crowd gathered amid the heavy police presence on Tuesday afternoon as the ambulance carrying Lee arrived. One supporter shouted, "Lee Jae Myung, be strong." In a statement, the South Korean National Police Agency pleaded to strengthen personnel protection for key personnel to prevent similar cases from happening. South Korea's politics have been ravened by deep polarization between conservative and liberal side, particularly in recent years, which saw former President Park Geun-hye jailed on abuse of power and bribery charges before being pardoned and released in 2021. Yi Jae-myung, 56, 59, a river former pre provincial governor, narrowly lost to Yoon of the conservative People Pot Power Party in the presidential election in March 2022. Lee became the leader of the Democratic Party five months later and has been gearing up his party for the po parliamentary elections in April. South Korea has witnessed the high-profile incident of political violence in the past. Lee's predecessor in the Democratic Party, Song Young Gil was attacked in the head with a hammer by the man during the campaign event for the Lee's presidential bid in 2022. 
Park, the former president, was attacked with a knife at the party rally in Seoul in 2006 when she served as the chairwoman of the country's main opposition party at the time, the Grand National Party. She suffered a four-inch cut on his face that required 60 stitches and prevented her from taking normally for weeks. And in 2015, Mark Limpert, the U.S. ambassador to South Korea, was stabbed in the face by the assailant at the political event he was set to speak at. The ambassador suffered a four-inch gash from his right cheekbone to his lower jaw that required 80 stitches. His assailant was later sentenced to 12 years in jail. This is developing story and will be updated.